And welcome back to 13 News Weekend Edition. It's barely October, but registration for Christmas baskets officially begins tomorrow at Mountain Mission Food Pantry. The Christmas meal box distribution is a yearly tradition, and as 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas, she's about to show us. Every year, Mountain Mission distributes nearly 1,000 of these Christmas baskets. They have enough food for families to enjoy a traditional Christmas dinner. But this year, because of the pandemic, they may have to distribute up to 1,500 of them. The leaves are just starting to turn outside of Mountain Mission, but staff here say Christmas is right around the corner for them. It takes so much time and effort and money to collect and, and purchase the food that we are going to give away at the volume that we give it away at. John Roberts says the nonprofit food pantry, like many others, has been hit hard by the pandemic, and it's been tough keeping the pantry stocked. Uh, the, all the elementaries in the school and the county collect food for us. I don't think we're going to get that this year. That is equivalent to about 80 barrels of food that we're losing. Still, he says they're thinking outside the box and want to be prepared to give away more Christmas baskets this year. There were so many people before COVID hit that were on the verge of needing a food pantry and needing assistance that this has kicked them into that area where they really need assistance. To qualify for a Christmas box, you need proof of SNAP benefits or Medicare for all eligible house members or a 2020 family history. For those who aren't receiving state assistance, proof of income dated within the last 30 days is required. During times like these, says Roberts, organizations like Mountain Mission need to step up. All we ask is that uh, people, you know, pay it forward. If you if you're out there and, and you do have and you are blessed, pay it forward to somebody. And you can sign up for a box at Mountain Missions office at 1620 7th Street in Charleston starting tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. In the studio, Larissa Casillas, 13 News. Now back to you.